Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and welcome to a brand new episode of My Color Life. No, I'm just kidding, and I truly apologize if you understand what I'm talking about. So rather than today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a brand new lock screen tutorial to make up for yesterday. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great everyone, so like I said, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up an amazing looking Android lock screen, so let's have a closer look. I'm going to unlock my phone right now, and here it is. It's titled Neek by the artist Otoro MB, and he's gone for that amazing clean and minimal look that he's pulled off brilliantly. It is based off Paranoid Android's peak design, and with a combination of a minimal widget as well as a dark background, your lock screen can now look a whole lot better. Having a closer look, it's got this very clean and minimal time and date, and beneath that it's got some notifications here that might look a bit odd because it's a somewhat offset. But the reason for that is a notification icon as well as count will only appear if there's notifications to be read. So a missed call icon and count will appear over here if I say receive a missed call and then obviously disappear once I have read it. So that is really useful and I really enjoy this design. And having a closer look at the bottom now, it's got this little tap to unlock area right here. And you might notice that if you tap it, I've brought up a little ring. I've just added in my own functionality. You can of course go with the simple then just tap to unlock. But I just added it like this because it looks a bit cooler. And of course for security reasons, you don't have to worry about tapping it and then in your pocket and then it unlocks your phone. So if you'd like to know how to set up that Android lock screen, then let us begin with today's new video. So as always before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. First off, the apps that you'll be needing, very simple this time around. You will be needing Widget Locker to set up, that, that is basically the lock screen app. And it is probably one of the best lock screen apps around. You probably won't get much better if you want a good looking lock screen. Next up will be Zupa Widget Pro. And that was the widgets that you saw on the lock screen. And then finally, last but not least, a good old file explorer such as ES File Explorer, simply because it's free and extremely easy to use. So that's the apps done. Next up, the resources. Check in the link in the description below. It comes with everything that you need and we'll get to that right now. What you want to do is click on that link. You can either download it directly onto your phone and extract it using ES File Explorer or copy it onto your computer, then unzip it using various file extraction software and then copy it directly onto your phone. But what you do want to end up with is a folder titled or whatever you want to call it. I just left it as Neek. But you do want to have this folder onto your phone. It comes with your Zupa widget files as well as the wallpaper and custom slider that aren't currently shown but don't worry they will be included in that folder so what you have to do now is the only background setup that you have to do is to copy these Zupa widget files and you can do that by simply selecting one and then selecting the other selecting copy and what you want to do now is to copy them into the Zupa widget templates folder and to do that you want to go into your main SD card directory you want to scroll to the bottom into the Zupa widget folder and then jump into the templates folder whereby you just want to paste both of them just like that and now you have all your setup done all you want to do now is to go back out of everything as we're now ready to set up your widget locker great so if you've just opened up your widget locker and you still have a few icons and widgets on the lock screen you just simply want to hold down on whatever there is and select remove you can also just drag them into the bin at the bottom but you just want to have a completely blank lock screen setup is now we're going to select the top right hand little icon here as this will bring up our widget locker settings first off definitely make sure that widget locker is on otherwise it's going to give you a few hassles and not appear at all but next up we want to jump into our look and feel next up you want to definitely enable alternative wallpaper as this will now enable you to change your wallpaper and from here we can now choose select wallpaper from here you want to go into your preferred gallery app and then just simply look for that wallpaper that has been provided. It is this very neat looking bridge wallpaper that looks quite mind blowing. So all you have to do is make sure that it touches the top and the bottom. Does not really matter. I think that looks pretty good. And you just need to select OK once that's done. And that is your background setup. You want to now go into your background tint. As I did find that tinting the wallpaper quite a lot made the effect of the, the text and the notifications look a whole lot better. So I think that's more or less 60%, 65% of background tint helps the lock screen stand out quite a lot and looks really good as well. Next up, you want to go into your layout. 
Now, if you have your anchor that's sitting in the middle right there, you just want to drag it to the bottom. And then next up, you want to make sure that automatically determined grid size is disabled, as this will then enable you to change your grid size at the bottom here. Now, I always go for a 12 by 12, as simply because I'm only adding in widgets, there's no icons involved, so you don't have to worry about icon sizing at all. But the author did recommend going for an 8x5 for this very setup, so I do recommend going for an 8x5. But if you're going to be changing your lock screen all the time, then a 12x12 12 is recommended instead, simply because you can just resize the Zupa widgets anyway for your hot content. So I'm going to stick with a 12x12. 12 12. As, as you saw earlier, it still looked exactly the same. Next up, you do want to enable hide notification bar, as of course you're not going to be needing it at all. And that's about it. You want to go back. As always, you want to go into your advanced settings, make sure that widget overlap is enabled. And as always, you want to go into your home helper as a lot of people, if they press your menu button, it'll just simply unlock your phone. Not ideal. So you want to enable home helper components, home helper block home, and then finally block home and other apps. And you're all good to go. That is all your widget locker settings complete. If we go back now, you should have a neat looking wallpaper that's ready for those Zoop widgets to be added. So let's get to it. Great. So we're going to start off with the clock widget at the top. You want to hold down on that lock screen select widgets and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and select Zupa widget pro now it doesn't really matter too much what size you want to go for but say a 2x2 will work well you want to hold down select resize and make sure that it's more or less at the top section like that don't make it too big otherwise then once you add in the Zupa widget it won't look good at all so bringing up the Zupa widget settings right here you want to select SD card as remember, we copied it into the SD card and that's where this template will be saved. And from here, once it's loaded, the millions of Zoop widget templates, you want to look for the one that is titled NK Clock 3x2. So if you went for an 8x5 grid size, then a 3x2 size of a Zoop widget will obviously be recommended. But this still looks very neat. So if you do want to say open up your say email or your Hangouts messages once you've imported this template, then you can simply go into your layout and then say look for the Gmail icon. Remember, it is now being converted into text. So you just need to look for the M rich text, which is the one over there. Just need to select it. And you can obviously change the, the widget on tap action. It has been defaulted to open up Gmail. So it'll obviously open up your Gmail once you select it. So I'm just going to go back right now, leave everything the way that it is. It is a bit teeny tiny, so of course you can hold down, select resize. And I think that looks a whole lot better. So we're just going to add in the one at the bottom. I made it take up the entire width as well as two rows for the height. So I'm just going to tap away, tap again, go back into my SD card. And you want to look for the unlock 5x1. So obviously, as always, if you went for an 8x5, then you would make the Zupa widget a 5x1 size. Now, as you can see, it because I added it in the lazy way, it doesn't look too good because it's now too high. And I actually kind of did that on purpose because now if I go into my layout, I can show you a little tip in case you didn't know. You can select this little middle icon here, this list icon that selects everything at once. And if you now select this reposition icon here, the one with the arrows, you can then either enable fast move or not, whatever's up to you. And now you can change that Y offset and make it a whole lot lower. Let's bump it up a little bit. And as you can see, even though I messed up the resizing, it still looks amazing just like that quick and simple and you can just go back now and see how it looks and as you can see it's gonna move down within a few seconds and that looks a hundred times better so all we have to do now is to add in that unlock ring or button whatever you choose at the bottom right here so let's get to it so finally for this unlock area over here there are three ways of doing it and then you can obviously just choose which is the easiest one for you the first one will be to open up this Zupa widget configuration here jumping into the layouts Selecting say the bitmap that's that one for the ring and then changing the widget on tap action to say open up either Thema or Nova or whatever your custom launcher is But I do feel that that is somewhat cheating because you're not taking full advantage of widget locker So I do always recommend adding in your own custom slider You can do that by holding down a selecting custom slider and now you can either choose one of two options here Depending on how you want your phone to unlock so if you just want to tap the phone to unlock you can select this default one here and in order to change it you can just get rid of the two sliders the left and right sliders by sliding one here selecting disabled selecting this one swiping it to the left selecting disabled and then you can then change the action of this middle option here by going to widget locker options or actions selecting unlock 
and it will then be an unlock button which you can of course change to a blank PNG by selecting the icon tab and then changing it in your gallery. Now that's one way of doing it however it is somewhat limited because you can only unlock the phone but what happens if you wanted to say change the ringer type or say change to your camera mode very quickly. So what I did was download a custom unlocker that was available on the XDA site. It's this one here titled ICS Invisible which is a widget locker theme and that's the one that's the ring but it's got an invisible unlock icon. So all you have to do, this will be included in the link. You just need to select it within ES File Explorer. It should come up with a few options here. You want to select Widget Locker and then select Install and Add. Hopefully it should work well and you know it's worked when you don't see anything at the top here. But when you select it, it shows you a few options here. Now I'm going to get rid of the unlock option on the right hand side because I just want to make it go to the top. I can now select Disabled and then say I want it to be over here between these two options. I can just swipe over there go into my widget locker actions and then change it to unlock and I do find this somewhat better I'm just gonna get rid of the ringer as well can disable that so now it's just left with these two and I can now select done once it's been added in I can just hold down on it select resize and then just put it in the bottom corner like that I can then tap away and then we are done with this very lock screen and once you're happy with how the Zupa widgets are looking, you can then go back into each one of the options. So you'll just select the side over here. It'll then bring up your Zupa widget options, whereby you want to go into your main widget settings, select widget on tap actions, and you always want to be selecting disabled. This will prevent you from opening this up once again. So we'll do the same for this one at the bottom. Go into your widget on tap action and select disabled. So that is your lock screen complete. So let's just test out the lock screen once again. I'm just going to be locking my phone right now and then unlocking my phone whereby it brings up my lock screen that looks really neat. Of course, if you want to quickly jump to your emails, you can then just select right there, bring up your emails just like that. And you can, of course, go back. And if you want to unlock your phone, you can quickly just slide right there and unlock your phone. Other than that, if you're wondering how I set up my home screen, this is a theme titled Dull UI available free from Thema, which is my color screen's official one click theming launcher available free from the Google Play Store. So check in the link in the description below for more details. But other than that, it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.